Okay, hello everyone in a new video. In this one we are going to solve an exercise related to electricity in the chapters of DC voltage resistors, electric power and energy. This exercise was a previous one in the previous exams in 2019 second session, exercise number 3. The title of this exercise is Rheostat in an electric circuit. The electric circuit of document 3 consists of, uh -huh, they mentioned document 3, that now we can use it. Consists of a generator G of constant voltage GPN is equal to 24 volts. So the trick in solving such type of exercises is to write the given voltage or the applied voltage on the traverse current on the electric circuit itself. Then the voltage of the battery is given by 24 volts. A rheostat RH of variable resistance. This is the rheostat. So the rheostat is an electric component, which is a resistor of a variable resistance. A lamp L acting as a resistor and carrying the indications 12 volt and 6 watts. So the lamp L carrying the following indications and they are given by 12 volt 6 watts. Knowing that the lamp L acts as a resistor or in other words ohmic conductor. Notice that uh, I didn't write the following indications on the electric circuit itself because yet we don't know if the lamp L is functioning normally. And a voltmeter V uh, connected across the terminals of L. So the voltmeter is, is an instrument that is used to measure the voltage across an electric component. In this case, the voltmeter is measuring the voltage across the lamp L. Now, number one. They are telling me the resistance of the rheostat is adjusted such that the lamp functions normally. Okay, now we know that the lamp L is functioning normally. Then the applied voltage is given by 12 volts. And the electric power across the lamp is given by 6 watts. 1.1. They are telling me what does each of the indications carried by L represent. These are the indications carried by L. Now let's explain what does each represent. 12 volt. We know that the volts is the unit of voltage, therefore 12 volt is the rated voltage of which electric component of the lamp L under which it functions normally. Now as for 6 watts, we know that watts is the unit of power, therefore 6 watts is the rated power consumed by the lamp L under which it functions. normally now in 1.2 they are telling me show that the electric current flowing in L is I1 is equal to 0 0.5 amperes now because the lamp L is functioning normally we know that the applied voltage is given by 12 volts and, and the consumed power is given by 6 watts therefore we can determine the value of the electric current I1 via the following relation which is given by the, the power, that the electric power is the product between the voltage and the electric current, because we know the power and we know the applied voltage. We are interested in calculating the electric current, constructing the triangle of this formula, P at the top, U and I at the bottom, we are interested in calculating the value of I, then I, which is denoted by I1 in this case, is given by P divided by U, the value of P is given by 6 and the value of U is given by 12. Plugging this fraction on the calculator will give us 0 0.5. Since P is in the SI and the value of U is in the SI, so the value of I1 will be in the SI, which is amperes. Then I1 is equal to 0 0.5 amperes. And here, there is no need to mention any law because P is equal to U times I is not a law. It's just a definition or a formula that the electric power is given by the product between the voltage and the current. And the trick here is to label the, the current I, the traverse current, across the lamp L here. So I1 
is equal to 0 0.5 amperes. So here I1 is the current traversing the lamp L. Now in 1.3 they are telling me determine by applying the law of addition of voltages the voltage AB across the rheostat. So we know the voltage of the battery and we know the voltage of the lamp therefore we can determine the voltage of the rheostat across the rheostat and this is done using the law of addition of voltages apply law of addition of voltages always in physics we need to mention the law that we are using addition of voltages Then how do we apply this law? Always on the left uh, we will write the voltage of the battery which is given by UPN and on the other side we write the voltages across different electric components starting from P and ending with N. Then from P we'll go to the point A plus from A to B plus from B to C and from C back to N knowing that we are interested in calculating the value of UAB. Now UPN across the battery is given by 24 UPA is equal to zero because across P and A we have a connecting wire. Uh, we didn't justify this previously, so here between the brackets that UPA is equal to zero and the reason is given by connecting wire. Now we keep UAB as a variable. Now UBC is equal to 12 because we know that the lamp L is functioning normally. And UCN is equal to zero because across C and N we have a connecting wire. Then UCN is equal to zero connecting wire because we didn't justify this previously we write it between the brackets then 24 is equal to UAB plus 12 then this is a linear equation in one unknown which is UAB so how do we solve this equation we put UAB on one side and all the other numbers on the other side then UAB is equal to 24 minus 12 which is equal to 12 since 24 is in volts and 12 is in volts, then the value of UAB will be in volts. So UAB is equal to 12 volts. Then in this case, we know that the voltage across the rheostat is given by 12 volts. Now in 1.4, they are telling me show that the resistance of the rheostat is R1 is equal to 24 ohms. Let me make some space. Now, okay, we need to determine the resistance of the rheostat and this is done using Ohm's law for sure. Apply Ohm's law. We are applying Ohm's law to RH. Uh, then the law is given by U is equal to R multiplied by I. Constructing the triangle of this formula. U at the top, R and I at the bottom. We are interested in calculating the value of R. Putting our hand over R. Then R is given by U divided by I. Here R is denoted by R1. And the voltage is denoted by UAB. Notice that here because the lamp L and the rheostat are in series. So they are traversed by the same current which is given by I1. And this is given by law of uniqueness of currents. Now the value of UAB is given by 12 calculated from part 1.3 and the value of I1 is given by 0 0.5 plugging this on the calculator will give us 24 since U is in volts and the value of I is in the sorry the value of U is in the SI and the value of I is in the SI so the value of R will be in the SI which is ohms then R1 is equal to 24 ohms. Then when the resistance of the rheostat is adjusted to 24 ohms, the lamp L functions normally. Now in number 2, they are telling me the resistance of the rheostat is adjusted at R2 is equal to 0 ohms. Now because in this case we have changed the resistance of the rheostat, therefore this voltage isn't the 12 volts anymore and, and the traverse current isn't I1. And due to this, the lamp L is not functioning normally anymore. 
but uh, for sure still the, the voltage across the battery is given by 24 volts now in 2.1 they are telling me the voltmeter reads 24 volts justify so we need to justify that the reading of the voltmeter in this case is 24 volts uh, the voltmeter is measuring the voltage across the lamp which is given by UBC in order to justify that the voltmeter is reading 24 volts first we need to determine the value of UBC and this is given by law of addition of voltages knowing that in this case the voltage UAB across the resistor is 0 because now R2 is 0 then first let's determine the voltage UAB across the resistor and this is given by Ohm's law then apply Ohm's low to RH and Ohm's law is given by U is equal to RI no need to construct a formula for this triangle because this is the form that we want we are interested in calculating first the voltage UAB across RH of resistance R2 now because the value of R2 is 0 multiplied by the current I independent of the value of the electric current I traversing the circuit because anything multiplied by zero is zero then now we know that the voltage UAB across the rheostat when it's adjusted to zero ohms is given by zero volts so the voltage across the rheostat is given by zero now using law of addition of voltages we can determine the voltage across the lamp then let's say apply law of addition of voltages so how do you apply this law on the left we write the voltage of the battery which is given by UPN and on the other side we write the voltages across different electric components starting with P and ending with N knowing that UBC must appear in the equation because the voltmeter is measuring, is measuring the voltage UBC then UPA plus UAB plus UBC plus UCN the value of UPN is 24 UPA 0 justified previously UAB 0 already calculated plus UBC plus UCN which is 0 then UBC is equal to 24 volts now let me continue this part here above and let me say since the voltmeter is measuring the applied voltage across L and it is given by 24 volts then the voltmeter reads 24 volts this is it for part 2.1 in 2.2 they are telling me that the lamp L burns out justify now notice that in this case the applied voltage which is given by 24 volts is greater than the rated voltage of the lamp which is given by 12 volts then the lamp burns out since the applied voltage is greater is greater than the rated voltage of the lamp L and this is given by uh, 24 volts is greater than 12 volt then the lamp L burns out And by this we have finished solving this, this exercise. Hope it was beneficial for you guys out there watching it and see you soon in another one.